Hi guys, today I've got my January favourites and I've got a bit of a mixture of beauty favourites and non-beauty favourites. So I'm going to get going with the beauty related things just because there is a few more beauty related things than what there is non-beauty related. So you might notice a bit of a pattern going on here. I've recently sort of got back into a few more MAC things and it shows because quite a lot of my favourites are MAC related. So my first little thing is the MAC 210 brush and it's just an eyeliner brush, it's a very very thin brush and I've been using it for my eyeliner and I my eyeliner is just completely different, it's completely changed the way my eyeliner looks, so thin and just easy to apply the liner with, like I can wing it out perfectly, um, I've been using it with the Bobbi Brown gel liner and it's just, I can't even explain how different my eyeliner looks with it on. I can do so much thinner lines, like my lines are a lot thinner on my lid now compared to when I was using the L'Oreal one, when it could literally just, and it would go massive. Um, whereas this one you could do nice thin lines and then if you wanted to sort of thicken it up, you can. And I'm in love with it. I literally don't think I could live without it now. Like once you go back, I don't think I'm ever going to go back to sort of the drugstore liners that I come with those weird little brushes and they're just I don't really get on with those so MAC 210 brush in love with it so my next product is more of a rediscovery really I haven't used this for a really long time and then I just thought oh I won't give this a go and it's the MAC false lashes mascara now I'm the type of person that's really really fussy with mascara because my eyelashes are quite long anyway if I was to get a certain type of mascara it will just clump and they'll all stick together and Ugh. So basically when I find a mascara I like, I pretty much just, I've only got about three mascaras that I actually know and trust. And my MAC Force Lash is one of them. And it just looks like, that's the wand, if you like. And basically it just makes my eyelashes, if this is going to, what is that? Um, it basically fans out my lashes, it separates them all, it gives them length, a bit more volume and it just basically makes me look like I've got full, false eyelashes on. A couple of people at work have said to me, oh are you wearing fake eyelashes, like natural ones? It's my mascara. And yeah, I love it and it's more of like an everyday mascara, like I've got mascaras that really like give you a bit more of a nighttime look, whereas this one is more of an everyday, beautiful it just does wonderful things to my lashes and that makes me happy. I did get it at um, a discounted price. I bought it in a little outlet in Portsmouth and I got it for about £10 where it normally retails for £18.50. But I'll probably buy it for £18.50. It's just worth it every penny. I bought the full size version of this in my last video and I've been using the tester for the last month and I'm just in love with it and now I've got the full thing I'm even more in love it's Max Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage and it's a primer and it just does everything I need a primer to do I've got quite oily skin and makeup literally doesn't stay on my face even the ones that say oh yes it's meant for oily skin and it's like that don't stay on but with this lovely thing it stays it is also quite moisturising so it doesn't it feels nice on my face and it also like corrects a few like colour issues and whatnot. but the main thing is my makeup doesn't move when it's on and I've tried a couple of Benefit um, primers and they just haven't worked the makeup just sits over the top and it doesn't really sink into my skin whereas this one sinks in and it's just I don't what is with my hands today it just doesn't make my makeup move and there's days when I haven't worn it and I notice the difference in my makeup. I'll come home and my foundation is all over my face. There's no more concealer on my face. Whereas when I've got this on, it is just all there. Like there might be a few, like my blusher might have faded a little bit, but it keeps it on and I'm amazed. Very amazed. So my next thing, this is sort of again to keep, you know, makeup set and things. It's the Chanel Le Beige Beige compact and I have this in number 10 which is the lightest shade and it looks it's just a powder 
Um, I've been using this with a Real Techniques buffering brush, I haven't been using it with a powder brush, just so then I get a bit more thicker coverage over my face. And it's just so pretty, I mean look at it, it's just gorgeous. But, and I've noticed it does make my makeup look a lot nicer and it sets it very nicely, like it just is beautiful. The only downfall with this is the price of it, you can probably get just as good sort of setting powders and illuminating powders for like a lot cheaper sort of drugstore wise however I think if you want to take your makeup to the next level and get it to set nice and to look beautiful I would probably go for this I think it's 38 let's not discuss that but then again the hourglass ambient lighting powder is also sort of around that price so you know it, it does, it's brilliant. It just takes it to the next level of makeup. So my last and final makeup thing, this has been on like nearly every favourites video for the last two months. Um, I haven't done a favourite favourites video for a while, but I basically got this, I pre-ordered it in December and I got it a weekend before everyone else did. And I really got to play around with the, the shades and the colours and I really do love it and it's the only one I've got. It's the Naked 3. Oh, nearly dropped it then. The Naked 3. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this has been everywhere. Like, the whole of YouTube beauty has just been talking about this. And to be honest, I haven't got the other two Naked palettes. I, you know, the colours just didn't interest me whatsoever. I didn't think they would complement my skin or my eyes and they probably would but I just the colours didn't really stand out to me so when I saw this one the rose this is like rose gold I jumped for joy and I just knew straight away that it was the one I wanted and that's all the colours there for you You've probably already seen them it's been everywhere for the last two months colours the, the pigment in them is amazing I have been using it with an Urban Decay primer that I got with this uh, I got four little testers and I used the Eden Urban Decay Eden one and it's really matte and it like it clings to your eyes and this just with that these are just absolutely gorgeous so yeah I know it's been everywhere but I haven't really had the chance to sit down and talk about it at all but everyone else has done it already so I have been loving that and I've been trying to branch out more with eyeshadows and things so this was my first step and I will be purchasing more Urban Decay shadows in the future I think I'm really impressed so my next little thing is a perfume now this is Zara Black Peony and I got this for Christmas because I was moaning about how my Flower Bomb by Victor Rolf was running out. And it is quite an expensive perfume, especially if you're spraying it on every day. Like, I think it took me two months and I'm down to like my last tiny, tiny bit. So when I got this, I was thinking, oh, this is different. I didn't even know Zara did perfume. But basically, it is the exact replica of Victor Rolf Flower Bomb. It smells I mean there is a slight tiny tiny difference and I think if you've been wearing it a really long time you might be able to notice the slight difference in it however this is pretty much the, the same thing also this has got a nice surpriseness to it I mean I can't remember how much my Victor Rolf one okay so my flower bomb is 50 millilitres which is that one and this one is 75 millilitres and this one was 60 I believe when I got it it was 60 pounds this one is 12 and you're getting more for your money a little bit Um, I mean the slight difference you really can't even notice it at all really I mean this one's a little bit stronger in the scent like it will probably last a little bit longer throughout the day because it's a lot stronger However, this one is, there's really not much difference. I mean, I've had to spray it an extra, like, twice throughout the day compared to what I would with the Victor Rolf one. Yeah, that was Zara Black Peony. So, my next favourite is a book. And I wanted, I've been trying to find a book for ages 
that I can just sit down and read and, you know, read it for a while. And this was bought for me because I saw it in Waterstones. Joanna Trollope's Sense and Sensibility. It's basically a modern day version of Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility. And I haven't read the original because I just haven't read it. But when I saw this and it was a modern take on it, I thought this would be a brilliant read. And with the storyline and everything, I think I'm probably going to sit down and read the original now because, you know, I get it in this one so why can't I get it with the other one if that makes any sense they're also modernizing two other of Jane Austen's novel books um I know they're doing Pride and Prejudice sort of coming out the end of this year I can't remember what the other one is called though but they are doing another one which is a modern take on it so this was the first one to come out and I I literally loved it I couldn't put it down once I got into it I loved the storyline I loved the idea of it like it was just lovely I loved it I seriously would recommend it if you just want an easy read that, you know, just an easy read really and, you know, it's a modern take on a, a classic so, and it's not too thick really, so, it's tea. <laughs> now I love tea, I've grown up on sort of builder's tea, I just can't live without it and recently I've been wanting to try different teas, like when I was younger I did try peppermint tea and sort of chamomile and I literally nearly was sick but one of my colleagues has been drinking green tea recently as a detox sort of thing and to be honest I wanted to try it too and not gonna lie I went and bought some green tea <laughs> it just sounded like a good idea and with it being January and everything I just wanted to sort of you know give my, myself a bit of a boost and this is Twining's lemon green tea and it's just basically lemon green tea when I first started drinking these, it did take me a while to get the brewing time right. It says on the box to do it for two minutes, and personally that's a bit strong for me, like it just was really like green tea and it was just... So I normally do it for about a minute, and it took me a while to get used to the taste of it. I'm not going to lie, I hated it to start with, but... I actually really like it now, I think it's a lot more of an acquired thing, you have to keep drinking it and then you realise how nice it is. And I've been drinking one of these a day um, and I've actually noticed a massive difference in myself and after I drink it I feel a lot more energised. But this is just basically the tea bag with nothing in it. That was it, that was everything, that was all of my January favourites, sort of a mixture from December as well. but. Oh wow. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, feel free to like the video if you liked it. If you want to leave me any comments, feel free. I always do try and respond, but my iPad's been dying recently, so I can't do it unless I'm at a computer. But feel free to comment. I would love to hear suggestions or, you know, anything that, you know, you want to see or anything like that. Please feel free to comment or message me. I'm always happy to get your messages and comments. I do enjoy reading them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. 